Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is Wednesday. Um, this is Brother West. This is Brother West coming to you uh, with another word of encouragement this morning. I want to greet you, and I'll, after, as I often say, if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, lay back down. And when you lay back down, just ask God to change stuff. Ask God to change your heart. Ask God to change your focus. Ask God to change your view. Ask God to change stuff. If things are still the same in your life, the common denominator is you. If you want things to change, you have to change. If you want blessings to come, you have to present yourself in a way where blessings will come. You have to make blessings available to come. It is like, just as like uh, in any kind of conversation, any, any kind of thing that you endeavor to do. A person, you will become more effective in doing that thing when you become comfortable when you become when it when it becomes natural and when when it becomes instinctive and see this is the thing that god wants he wants his word in you to become instinctive he wants his word to become instinctive because one of the one of the one of the um one of the one of the um, indications that you belong to him is instincts because Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and the strength they won't follow. And so, which means that, and no matter kind of what, it doesn't matter how many voices are speaking to you. When God speaks, you're going to recognize his voice because there's an agreement. There's, there's, the, there's a kindred spirit, the same seed that, 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 that recognize where we cry, Abba, Father, that by adoption. And so there's an agreement. There's an agreement when God calls you. There's an agreement. No matter what kind of mindset you have, when God calls you, there's an agreement. And just like I think I mentioned the other day that what one of the things that God is doing with transition, God is peeling away and he's renewing the mind of the believer. He's renewing your thoughts. And so what he's basically doing, he's put you in a different place. He's put you in a different atmosphere, this atmosphere, which means that in a different atmosphere, you're speaking from a new atmosphere. You're speaking from a new surrounding. And see, so because oftentimes you only speak what you see. You only speak when you, when you see trauma, when you see danger, when you see pain, when you see hurt, you speak from that. But when you see peace, but when you see power, when you see grace, when you see mercy, you speak from that. Just like when Moses sent 12 spies out to spy the land, 10 came back because they saw road they couldn't see. They saw, they saw their enemy as giants. They felt like they couldn't win. They felt like they were defeated. They felt like they were inferior. But there was two that saw things different. And the two that saw things different, they saw things through the eyes of God. They saw things through the eyes of faith. And how they saw them was in verse, in reverse of what the other ten saw. The ten saw giants, but the two saw grasshoppers. And so this is the this is the focus that God's wanted to change your focus and change your vision to. Where you stop looking at yourself as a grasshopper and you begin to look at yourself as a giant. The scripture says, great is he that's in you and me, my brother, than he that's in the world. And so God wants you to view yourself different. Got to view yourself different because you're in a different place. You're in a different, you're in a different address now. You're in a different address. And in this different address, there's a certain protocol. There's a certain way you act. There's a certain way you talk. There's a certain way you walk. See, because see, when you represent the house, when you represent God, when you represent Jesus, you represent his name. You're, everywhere you go, your name, you're recognized, you'll be recognized by his name. And so do not misrepresent his name because you're going, when you're going in his name, you're going in his, his authority. And which means that he backs you. He got your back. The scripture says, the scripture says that after you see the Holy Ghost, you will have the power to trade up on scorpions and serpents. Uh, and serpents. And if you drink any deadly thing, it ain't going to harm you. And the scripture says, in a time of trouble, thousands shall fall at thy hand and ten thousand at thy right hand. But none shall come near your dwelling. Behold, you shall receive the reward of the, of the wicked, but it ain't going to touch you. And so, and that is because you see him. You see what he's saying. And see, faith is a sight. Faith is a sight. Scripture said, faith is a substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Which means it's evident. You can't see it with the natural eye. But you can see faith through the eyes of God. You can see faith. You can see faith. And you, when you say, God, I trust you. When it look like when it looks like you can't, when it look like it doesn't make sense, that's faith there. That's a different level, and this is what's happening. God is bringing His people to a different level. 
he's bringing his people to a different level of faith. And in this different level of faith, this level of faith is changing the way you talk. It's changing the way you treat people. It's changing the way you walk. See, because it's in your encounter. Many of you just had an encounter with God, a great encounter. And in this encounter, he left something. He left blessings. But also, he brought sight. He brought you a different sight. He brought you a different vision. Those are my words. Good morning.